Hello everyone. Assalamualaikum. So today we are going to review subtopic 1.4, logic gate and simple circuit. Let's look at the first one. How to write Boolean expression based on logic circuit. Okay, to write Boolean expression, there are two steps. The first one, you have to list all sub expression and lastly you have to combine all sub expression okay let's look at the first step okay so you can see here in the logic circuit there are two gates right but there are only one sub gate okay so one sub gate is equals to one sub expression okay so the first expression Okay, for the first gate is an R gate, right? So this R gate, taking input A, taking input B, the first sub expression would be A plus B, all right? And then you have to combine all sub expression, okay? We have already get the first expression, which is A plus B. And then lastly, we have to get the output, okay? For the output, you have to combine all sub expression. How to do that? First, look at the gate okay the gate this is an end gate okay so end gate will be q equals to input one dot input two okay so the input one is the first expression and input two would be the c and then you'll get q equals to input one which is a plus b dot input two which is C and that is the Boolean expression for this logic circuit. All right. Next for this logic circuit and how to do that. First, we have to list all sub expression. Next, we have to combine all sub expression. To list all sub expression, how many sub expression are there? There should be one, two, three, and four. So there are four sub gate, which is for sub expression so the first one okay let's look at the first gate this is gate and right so this end gate is the logical multiplication so the first expression would be a dot b right okay the second gate this is gate r right so this gate r the second expression would be taking input b taking input c so the expression would be b plus c okay next the third gate the third gate is the and gate so this and gate taking input c taking input b so the expression would be b dot c very good okay and lastly okay gate and okay so this and gate taking input taking input b plus c Taking input, b dot c. The expression would be b dot c dot b plus c. Right. Now, lastly, last step, combine all sub expression. Okay, combine all sub expression. You'll get q equals to input one. Okay, input one and input two, which is this is the gate or. Okay, so q equals to input one plus input. Two, and then you'll get Q equals to A dot B plus B dot C dot B plus C. All right. Let's look at the example one. Okay, write the Boolean expression for the logic circuit below. Okay, first we have to write the variables. Okay, we have to write the variables for the input. Okay, I put A for the first input. The second input i put b then the output i put q okay and then you have to write the first step is you have to list all the sub expression how many sub expression are there there are one sub expression so one sub expression so the first sub expression would be e1 equals to this is gate not gate so taking input a the expression would be a bar right Last step would be combine all sub expression. Combine all sub expression. Q equals to input. What gate is this? This is gate or gate. All right. So input one plus input two. So the first input is a bar. Okay. Plus input two is 
B. So that is the Boolean expression for this logic circuit. Alright, next example 2. Okay, for this logic circuit, you have to first write the variables for the input. I put input A, input B, input C and output Q. Okay, so let's look at the list okay, of all sub-expression. There should be one sub-expression, right? So the first sub-expression would be this is a AND gate, right? So this should be an AND gate taking input A. Taking input B. Okay, that is the sub expression. Last step is combine all sub expression. Combine all sub expression. Q. Okay, let's look at the Q gate. Okay, for the gate, this is a gate R. Okay, so this is a gate R taking input 1, taking input 2. Okay, input 1 plus input 2. So input 1 is a dot B plus input 2 is C. And that is a Boolean expression for the logic circuit. Alright. So next we are going to learn how to make truth table. Okay. So truth table. Okay. This logic circuit with the Boolean expression Q equals to A plus B dot C. How to make truth table. Okay. First you have to find out the possible resulting values combinations. Next, you have to find out the number of operation. Okay, how to find out the num possible resulting value combination? You have to use this formula, which is 2 to the power of n, where n is the number of input. Okay, so how to do that? There are three inputs, right, for this logic circuit, right? So there are three inputs, so 2 to the power of 3, you get... 8. Okay, so there should be 8 possible resulting values combinations for this logic circuit. And next, you have to find out the number of operations. You can see here, the first, there should be 2 number of operation. And how do you do that? Okay, the first operation would be A plus B. Okay, this one A plus B. The second operation would be the whole operation, which is A plus B dot c and then you'll get the truth table okay this is the truth table you have to list all the input which is input a input b input c as well as the operation which is operation one a plus b operation two a plus b dot c and then what does it mean by this eight okay it means there are possible resulting values okay so there are one two three four five six seven eight there should be eight possible values okay for the truth table you have to put the possible input first okay if possible input first for the a b and c it should be zero 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 the combination would be zero 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 next you change the number here number here change zero zero one and then you change this one should be zero one zero and then next one should be zero one one okay when you do this input combination you have to make sure there is no repeat Repetition. Okay, no repetition. Alright. That is how we make the truth table. Okay, let's look at the example. Okay, this example 3. Okay, you have to make the truth table. Okay, first we have to find out the expression. Okay, for this logic circuit, okay, we have to find out the, log uh, the expression. First, you have to find out the sub-expression, right? So, the first sub-expression would be this is gate. Or, right, so A plus B. The next step, you have to combine all the sub-expression, okay? So the sub-expression Q, this is R gate. So it should be plus, okay, input 1, okay, plus input 2. So Q would be A plus B plus C, Alright, so this is the Boolean expression for this logic circuit. And next, you have to find out the number of possible resulting values. Number of possible resulting values. Okay, possible resulting values. You should get 2 to the power of... How many inputs are there? 1, 2, 3. So there should be 3. 2 to the power of 3, you'll get 8. Alright. So, based on this Boolean expression, how many operations are there? 
How many operation? There should be one and two. So there should be two operation. Now we have to do the truth table. To do the truth table, we have to start with the input, which is input A, input B, input C, operation A plus B, and lastly, A plus B plus C, right? Okay. And then we have to do like this. Okay, table. Right? This is a table. Okay. And then we have to start writing the combination. We start with 0, 0, 0. Okay. Next combination will be 0, 0, 1. Okay. Next is 0, 1, 0. Next is 0, what combination are there left? 1, 1. Okay, next we start with 1. Okay, 1, 0, 0. And then 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 0. And 1, 1, 1. And then you start adding the operation, which is A plus B. Okay, A plus B, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 1. Okay, and then 0, A plus B plus C. So, 0 plus 0 will be 0. 0 plus 1 will be 1. 0 plus 1 will be 1. 0, 1 plus 1 will be 1. 0 plus 1 will be 1. 1 plus 1 will be 1. Okay, and then 1 plus 0 will be 1. 1 plus 1 will be 1. Okay, so this is the truth table for this logic circuit all right next example four for example for this expression would be okay q equals to okay expression one which is and gate okay so this should be a dot b okay q is the r not so r not gate should be like this plus c so this is the expression for the logic circuit and next we have to find out the possible combination possible combination will be two to the power of three okay because why number of input there are three so it should be eight right so eight the number of operation would be a dot b okay and a dot b plus c not okay let's draw the table draw the table okay let's draw the table here okay so a b c and then a dot b and a dot b plus c or a dot b plus c not okay so first one zero 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 one zero one zero zero one one 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay? Alright, so this is the truth table input, okay? Combination. Okay, and then you start adding up, okay? So this one is A dot B. So 8 multiply with B, you get 0. Okay, 0 dot 0 would be 0. 0 dot 1 would be 0. 0 dot 1 would be 0. 1 dot 0 would be 0. 1 dot 0 would be 0, 1 dot 1 would be 1, 1 dot 1 would be 1. And then, A dot B plus C, A dot B plus C, so 0 plus, okay, 0 plus 0, you get 0, 0 plus 1, you get 1, 0 plus 0 would be 0, 0 plus 1 would be 1, 0 plus 0 would be 0, 0 plus 1 would be 1, 1 plus 0 would be 1, 1 plus 1 would be 1. And then, not. It's the reverse number of the result. Okay, so the reverse number of for 0 would be 1. Reverse 1 would be 0. Reverse 0 would be 1. Reverse 1 would be 0. Reverse 0 would be 1. Reverse 1 would be 0. Reverse 1 would be 0. Reverse 1 would be 0. And that is the truth table for this logic gate all right 
Next, how to make logic circuit using Boolean expression. Using Boolean expression, how to do that? Okay, this is the Boolean expression. We have B dot A plus C. Okay, first we have to do the one in the bracket. Okay, following the precedence order, we will start with bracket and then not and an or. So in this case, we start with the bracket first okay we have to draw the bracket first so this a plus c is a, a what gate is a plus c it is an or gate so or gate taking input a and c which is a or c all right which is a plus c and then lastly you have to add up with the b dot a plus c and how to do that b dot is a dot is a and gate okay then you draw like this okay so you're taking OR gate, adding up with the AND gate. And then you'll get, the result will get this one, B dot A plus C. Okay, let's look at the example. The example 5, draw a logic circuit for A plus B dot C. A plus B dot C. First, we have to do this one in the bracket first, all right? In the bracket first, you have to draw. Okay, this is an R gate. So, R gate, you have to draw R gate like this, all right? R gate, taking input A, B, and then this is an end gate. So, taking input C should be like this, okay? So this is the logic circuit for A plus B dot C, right? And that is all for today's class, all right? If you have any question, you can just email me on philzadasazaliayahu.com or you can just telegram me, all right? Thank you for today's class and have a great day.